Hi, I'm Robert Alexander from iChem Labs, and this is the Elemental Analysis widget and widget intro tutorial for ChemDoodle version 5. Widgets are many applications within ChemDoodle. They enhance ChemDoodle's functionality in various ways. Each widget has a widget window, which can be moved around just like anything contained within the workspace. They will interact normally, including locking in place. You can also adjust a widget size by clicking the Maximize button for full screen use or using the drag anchor to adjust a widget to a specific size. Some widgets appear in a collapsed state and only take up more space when you need to work with them. For instance, the Mole Grabber widget only expands once you've typed in a search term and hit enter. Once you've finished working with it, it can be collapsed easily. Only three widgets appear in the workspace at any one time. The statistics and history widgets always remain, while other widgets are switched between by selecting the widget you want from the widget dock. Hover to see the name of the widget, then select the widget you want to work with. You can click and drag the arrows on the left to move the dock along the bottom of the workspace. Keep in mind there are other widget options depending on the widget, but I'll cover those in other videos. The Elemental Analysis widget calculates data such as formulas, masses, elemental analysis and isotopic distributions. The elemental analysis widget displays information on the currently selected molecule, or if you are not using a selection tool, the most recently modified molecule in the doodle area. For instance, as I work, the molecular formula keeps a tally of the number of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen atoms in a molecule I'm creating and other atoms as well. However, if I decide to create a new molecule, the widget will immediately switch to displaying information on this latest molecule. The molecular mass is based on the average weight of one isotope of said molecule. The monoisotopic mass is based on the most common isotope of said molecule only. The elemental analysis section displays the percentage weight of each element. So in the example of CH4, we can see the carbon takes up almost 75% of the total weight of the element. Since ChemDoodle has access to all this information about any molecule you choose to create, it can display an isotopic distribution bar graph, and it includes the percentage ratios for precise work. 